The movie starts in the prison of the state of Florida. The CIA officer named Donald Fitzroy inquires about the prisoner, more precisely, a prisoner convicted of murder. The officer goes through the prisoner's criminal records. Donald tells the prisoner that his parole is long away from the present year and that he is here to reduce his sentence. The prisoner replies as to what he has to do to get his sentence reduced. Donald says that he has to work with the CIA in its Sierra program in exchange for the commutation. The prisoner agrees. 18 years after, the prisoner sets on a mission to Bangkok with the code name Sierra 6. In a club where Six is sitting, a girl named Donnie Miranda, who is an agent of the same mission, approaches Six and hands him what seems to be a water gun. Six goes into a room where he is guided by the operations of CIA, headed by Denny Carmichael, in Langley, through telecommunication. Denny orders Six to eliminate a target named Dining Car, who is exposing the secrets related to national security. Dining Car enters the club and Six is alarmed that the subject is not alone and has security guards with him. Denny tells Six that the target is approaching the floor that is two floors above him and that he shall execute the target when it is acquired. Six refuses for the moment, as if thinks, if he shoots then there will be collateral damage to the kid standing beside Dining Car. Six exits the room in the state of refusal to shoot the target from beneath and cuts the lights of the club to apply a new strategy to kill the target. This results in a fierce fight between Six and Donnie with Dining Car and his crew. Six jumps out of the glass window of the club and chases Dining Car. Dining Car tries to shoot Six, but Six manages to disable the firearm that Dining Car is carrying. During the fight, Dining Car reveals to Six that his code name is Sierra 4 and that Sierra 6 has been sent to kill the same kind of teammate. However, the fight continues and Six manages to outplay Sierra 4. Six stabs him which brings him down. Four reveals that he was hired by the same guy who hired Six, Donald Fitzroy and that his training was on the dark side. This surprises Sierra Six and creates a feeling of distrust in the team, as for Sierra's program, there is no intel or information on the biography of similar agents. Before dying, Sierra Four gives Six a pendant that contains a USB containing adverse agency secrets. The rest of the agents on the mission scan Four's body and find certain accessories that he carried, but nothing therein contained national secrets. Denny being elusive about Four's elimination, calls Six to find out if he has found something off Four's body when he was on site, but he lies to him and says that he hasn't. Sierra Six goes to a gaming zone and plugs the USB in. Denny perpetually insists on finding out why Six conducted the elimination in such a way which befuddles Six, and he refuses to leave with Denny's men. He finds out about the damning secrets of the CIA. To leave no evidence behind, Sierra Six gets the pendant crushed and delivered to Margaret Cahill and requests an immediate exit from Bangkok from Donald Fitzroy after telling him that he has come across something suspicious after the assassination of his recent target. The next scene shows a captive being held and electrocuted by a former mercenary of the CIA in the Black Ops Division, named Lloyd Hansen. Lloyd receives a call from Denny and Suzanne. Denny allots him the task to kill Sierra Six and retrieve the lost asset, the USB containing the agency's secrets. Lloyd surmises that he can get the attention of Sierra Six by kidnapping the daughter of Fitzroy, Claire. The extraction team is sent by Fitzroy to Chiang Mai to extract Sierra Six. The team authorizes Sierra Six by exchanging code words, and then he gets on the plane. Miranda is called by Denny to do an urgent meeting by getting on the plane next to her and ditching her flight to Singapore. In the subsequent scene, Lloyd and Fitzroy meet at the funeral of Fitzroy's friend. Fitzroy recognizes Lloyd, also recognizing that Lloyd was kicked out of the CIA for his sociopathic demeanor. Lloyd gives an affirmative reply to this guess and tells Fitzroy that he works for a private agency now. Lloyd asks Fitzroy to hand over Sierra Six to him, to which Fitzroy denied. Lloyd shows a photo to Fitzroy, where his young niece has been kidnapped by his men, and it strikes fear in his heart. Fitzroy calls his extraction team to kill Sierra Six and obtain the pendant from him. Being certain and alarmed of such happening, Sierra Six fights the extraction team. It gets to a point where a huge hole is punched inside the plane, and the plane begins to descend and ultimately crash. During midway, the plane blasts and Six skydives into the air without a parachute. He holds onto a mercenary of the extraction team with the parachute and lands safely with some bruises on his face. Sierra Six then calls Fitzroy. He asks why Fitzroy gave a command to his team to eliminate him, 
To which Fitzroy replies that his niece was in danger and he couldn't help but give such an order. Lloyd takes over the phone call and asks Six to return the pendant containing secrets to him or else he would have to kill Six. Fitzroy tells Lloyd that he has underestimated Six. Lloyd punches Fitzroy forthwith and tells him that he will find Sierra in no time with the help of his men. Lloyd and Fitzroy get onto a private jet and set off, whereas Six gets on a train on the other hand. The screen is then shifted to a two-year-older time frame in London. The scene shows a meeting of Sierra Six and Fitzroy with Margaret. In the meeting, it is deduced that Fitzroy's house's address in Hong Kong has been doxed and leaked. Also, his family is in danger. After the death of his brother and sister-in-law, Fitzroy has been the guardian of his niece, Claire Fitzroy. Sierra Six is given the task to protect Fitzroy's niece, as Claire is quite vulnerable due to a pacemaker fit in her heart. Then, Six meets Claire. They both get to know each other well, and Six even tells the story related to his tattoo. At night, the maid goes out for dinner, and then, Six and Claire are left alone in Fitzroy's house. Claire gets a sudden heart stroke after which, Six rushes her to the hospital. Soon afterward, she gets stable and is brought back home. Sierra Six and Claire have dinner, after which, Six sets her to her bedroom. After a while, an intruder breaks into the house intending to kill Claire. Six spots him and kills him to protect Claire, to which Claire becomes a prime witness. The movie shifts to the present day. Now, Sierra Six is in Vienna. He meets Laszlo Sosa, who is a known German counterfeiter. Six offers him money and tells him that he requires his assistance. Six asks Laszlo if he needs to track a pacemaker registered by the name of Claire Fitzroy. While Sierra Six freshens up and wipes blood stains away from his body, Laszlo plans to trick him. After that, Laszlo tells Six that he has successfully tracked the pacemaker. Six notes down the current location of the pacemaker. Laszlo begins to counterfeit Six's passport and starts by taking his photo. But, soon after, Laszlo kicks a trigger which throws Six down into a well. Laszlo shows Six a paper telling that there is a huge price on capturing him alive. The next shows Agent Miranda sitting in a conference room in Berlin, where Denny is also present. Denny starts recording and interrogating Miranda to tell him if she already knew about Sierra Six's plans. Miranda replies that she had only met him in Bangkok and nowhere else. Laszlo informs Lloyd that Six is in his possession and that he should get here, as soon as possible, to get him. Lloyd commands the pilot to land the plane in Vienna forthwith. Further, Sierra Six plans his escape from the well he was thrown into by Laszlo. Going back to the interrogation, Denny asks Miranda about her knowledge regarding the Sierra program. Miranda replies that it comprises the gray men who are sent for undercover missions. Lloyd reaches Laszlo's location. Lloyd asks Laszlo where is Six, to which Laszlo asks for the prize money. Lloyd shoots him and tells his team to search for the parameter. Sierra Six sets off the bomb, which kills Lloyd's men. However, Lloyd gets a hold of Six and points a gun at him. Six defends himself and pulls the pin of a grenade and throws it inside the house. Six then jumps out of the window. Lloyd chases Six and tries to shoot him, but Miranda comes from behind and shoots a tranquilizing injection to Lloyd, which makes him unconscious. Six thinks that Miranda has come to save him, but Miranda points the same gun at Six and tells him to get in the back of her car. Six denies and Miranda is forced to tranquilize him as well. Up next, the scene shows the castle in Croatia, where Fitzroy and Lloyd landed. Lloyd is conscious back again. He meets Suzanne, who is angry at Lloyd for his unfinished job. Suzanne tells Lloyd that it is pathetic that he still has not caught Sierra Six yet. Lloyd gets furious and tells Suzanne to let him do his job. Fitzroy then meets his niece, Claire and they both hug each other. Then, Sierra Six is hand-tied in the car which Miranda is driving. She asks Six about what he had stolen. Six replies that he had stolen an encrypted drive that contains secrets about Denny Carmichael and had sent it to Margaret at her address in Prague. Lloyd suspects that Sierra Six must be operating with someone who is helping him. Lloyd's team finds a video where Sierra Six is sending a package through a post office in Bangkok. Lloyd finds out that the package was sent somewhere in Prague. Lloyd comes into the room where Claire and Fitzroy are. Claire is forcefully taken out of the room by one of Lloyd's men. Whereas, Fitzroy is tied to a chair and is asked who lives in Prague, to which this package might be sent. Fitzroy is hesitant. Lloyd keeps on plucking Fitzroy's nails in search of answers. In the next scene, Miranda and Sierra Six meet Margaret in Prague. 
Margaret tells both of them that she has limited time to live, so whatever they have brought is better be worth it. They both show the encrypted drive to Margaret, which shows the corrupted and alienated personality of Denny Carmichael. It also told that Sierra 4 got to know about the suspected behavior of Denny, therefore, Denny ordered the elimination of 4. And, now he is after 6. Lloyd gets to know about whereabouts of Margaret. Margaret hands over the keys of her bulletproof car to 6. Then, Margaret's house is invaded by mercenaries of Lloyd. Miranda escapes, whereas, Margaret hides 6 in the basement. When the mercenaries charge up front, Margaret pulls the pin of a grenade in her hand, which blows up the building. Sierra 6 escapes through the basement, but Praggy and police capture him. In the course of escaping, Six is hit by a car, and the police manage to capture him again, this time, he is handcuffed to a pole. While Six is under the custody of the police, Lloyd's men attack Six, but Six manages to set free from the handcuffs. Even after this, Lloyd doesn't stop. He orders his Alpha, Bravo, and Delta teams to push against Sierra 6. This causes a great catastrophe and nearby cars and a train crash horribly. Luckily, Miranda comes to save Six. Up next, Suzanne tells that all of the team members have been eliminated. Lloyd tells Suzanne that there is still one alive, and his name is Lone Wolf. He will track the target down efficiently. Miranda asks Six how to save Claire. Six replies that he has found the coordinates that will lead them to the pacemaker, which is fitted inside Claire. Miranda disguises Six into a hospital in Prague, where most of the patients post-catastrophe were admitted. Miranda steals a staff card and gets access to where Claire is located, which is Croatia. Lone Wolf chases Miranda and Six and attacks both of them. The Lone Wolf extracts the pendant from Six that contains the encrypted data and escapes. Suzanne asks Denny if their boss will know about the harm that was delivered to the Pragian police and the citizens. Denny tells Suzanne that whatever happened, their boss will eventually know. Miranda and Six get to a room inside the hospital, where the wound Six are medicated. Miranda asks Six why did he go to prison? Six tells her that when he was young, his father used to repeatedly torture his brother. He couldn't resist a sight of seeing it every day and so, he killed his father and was taken to jail. In that jail, he met Fitzroy and was sent on undercover missions as Sierra Six. In the next scene, the lone wolf hands the encrypted drive to Lloyd. Miranda and Six set off to save Claire in Croatia. They both invade the premises and attack the guards and their vehicles. This alarms the whole castle. Fitzroy tells Claire to hide. Six breaks into the same room where Fitzroy is, and before Lloyd comes into that room, Fitzroy, Six, and Claire had already left. Miranda destroys the security room by shooting a rocket through a rocket launcher. There is a crossfire, and then Fitzroy is hit. Six and Claire jump into the water. The lone wolf finds the drive, and he fits it into the pendant. When Lloyd's men come to check if Fitzroy is alive, he pulls the pin out of the grenade he is holding and it blasts. Lone Wolf tries to escape, but Miranda stops him. Subsequently, Lone Wolf hands the drive over to Miranda because he does not trust these people anymore, as Lloyd said that he can do anything to complete his tasks, even kill a child. Then, Six and Claire get out of the water. Lloyd comes to kill Six, but Six is saved by Claire. Claire shoots Lloyd in the back with a flare gun. However, Lloyd captivates Claire and takes her to a maze. Six follows Lloyd and then finds him. He threatens Six that he will shoot Six. Six tells Lloyd to drop his weapon and get into a fistfight with him. Six tells Miranda to take care of Six and it breaks into a fierce fight. Lloyd takes out his dagger and continuously stabs Six and making him drown. This throws Six into nostalgia about the torture done by his father. Six counters Lloyd and smothers him. During this, Lloyd is shot by Suzanne, who also shoots Six in his leg. Suzanne tells Six that she has a strategy, due to which whatever happened, its blame can be shifted to Lloyd solely. Six is taken into custody and to the medical facility. Miranda is arrested as well. The drive is now in the possession of Suzanne. After two weeks in Washington, D.C., Six is in medical care inside a basement, whereas, an inquiry committee is set for Denny, Suzanne, and Miranda, but there is no proper action taken against them. Suzanne and Denny go to the basement where Sierra Six is kept, but they find out that he is not there. Claire is now under the inspection of the CIA. An album is sent to Claire, which has a note attached to it. The note says play me loud. She plays the album out loud. Six fires the guards outside where Claire is kept. He comes in and saves Claire. He drives her away to somewhere safe. 
Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the post notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.